Okay, welcome to this particular video. In this video, I will teach you how you can be able to do your Facebook ads targeting properly. Okay. Um, if you have been running ads recently, right from when Facebook implemented some changes in their ads manager back office or dashboard, you will discover that a lot of things have changed. Facebook has changed a whole lot of things on the ads manager's dashboard. Looking at the cost of ads, if you check very well, you discover that ads are now more expensive than last year. The cost of ads now is quite expensive. Now, if you're running ads, you'll be seeing something like this. Cost per link click may double. That is to tell you that Facebook has actually increased their, um, their cost of running ads, okay? It was quite cheaper last year compared to now, okay? So you discover that a lot has changed on Facebook advert, okay? Some of you might have run advert, you discover that you're not getting conversion, you're not getting tangible results from your ads, okay? So you now discover that a lot has changed. Right from your targeting option, you discover that a lot of detail targeting have been removed. A whole lot have been removed, okay? So, what do you do? What is the new update? What, how do you fix these things, okay? Some of the things that were giving us maybe um, 5 Naira per click, 10 Naira per click, is now giving us maybe 50 Naira, 30 Naira per click, okay? Until maybe, um, the ad has stayed up to like uh, three, four days before the um, cost per conversion will reduce. Otherwise, at the beginning stage, you discover that you are getting high words cost per click, okay, or per conversion, right? So, how do you get to fix this ad targeting, right? The game has changed totally on Facebook ad, okay? Now, I will start from this point you know how to create ad please this particular video is not on how to create facebook adverts this is not this particular video now is not for beginners that that is it's not for those who are just um starting to create facebook ad today no this is this particular video is strictly on what facebook ad targeting so if you are just learning how to create facebook ad now there is a video in the description below. There is a link to that video. Just check on in the description. I will send out the link is there. Facebook ads for beginners. Okay. Facebook ads for beginners. That one will show you step by step how to run your Facebook ad from beginning to the end. Okay. Both for phone and for laptop users. Check in the description below this video. You will see the two videos on that. If you are using phone, if you are using a uh, if you're using a laptop or desktop computer, those two videos, the link to those two videos are right in the description below. All right. So let's go ahead with targeting and see how to fix this um, problem. Okay. So now this is, um, this particular stage is just where you um, select your ad objective. So you just continue, you just go to next and let's go over to where we are going to do our audience targeting. So right here you see that um, we have cost per link may double. So they are telling you um, cost per link may double as a result of increase in Facebook what ad. Okay. We compare this ad I want to run now with my previous ad. You discover that I am um, I'm getting more charges compared to the previous ad that I was running. Okay. So now let us look at these options. Okay, now you can just name your you can just name your ad uh, name here. Maybe if you're promoting a particular product, you can use that name to label this ad so that you can always remember the purpose of this particular ad set. Okay, so now let us uh, we are running this traffic to a website. You can also run it to your WhatsApp also. Okay, I've shown you a video on how to run adverts Facebook advert directly to your WhatsApp. Check the link uh, in the dis um, description of this video. You will see that. So let us just go straight to audience targeting for the purpose of this video. This video is on ad uh, audience targeting. 
So now this particular area is on saved audience. You have saved your audience. You can come here to it. So let's do the ad, the um, targeting from beginning. Okay. Now this particular time is the time that you are going to leverage on your um your your creative. Okay. You discover that the Facebook advert cost has increased. It has increased. It has really increased like double. It has increased like double. So now, you now discover that people do not come on Facebook to buy something. People came on Facebook to view pictures, to, to check on their old time friends, to watch comedy videos, to scroll through their feeds, to catch crews. Okay? But that doesn't mean they will not buy if they come across something that interests them. Right? So if they come across something that interests them, they will end up buying. Please listen attentively. Listen attentively so that you don't just waste your money on ads that will not convert. You don't just go and dash my Zuckerberg the next money. Right? So listen attentively and fix this thing once and for all. So, welcome to my channel. My name is Poka Innocent, and this is Sika Digital's channel. You are highly welcome. On this channel, I create tutorial videos on digital marketing, advertising, sales, and how you can make money online. Okay, we have already created more than 52 videos here. Okay, we create different videos on our Facebook advertising, Instagram ads, how you can record your phone screen if you are uh, a course creator. Then I also created videos on video editing here. Then there are videos on how you can set up your own YouTube channel. We have videos here on how you can run adverts, Facebook sponsored adverts directly to your WhatsApp. We have videos on affiliate marketing success. We have videos on how you can recover your disabled Facebook ad accounts, how you can create multiple Facebook ad accounts in case one has been banned. We have videos on ebook creation and different valuable stuff here. Okay. And I also drop new videos every week, right? So do well to subscribe to the channel if you have not done that. Subscribe to the channel right now so that you will be the first person to see my new video as soon as I drop them every week. Thank you and welcome. Stay tuned to watch the next video. Pay attention to your ad creative. By ad creative, I'm talking about, let me take you over to ad creative. By ad creative, I'm talking about now i'm talking about image or video right you see create ad you are talking about for if you're using single image or video or you're using carousel or collection images pay attention to the kind of image that you are using if you are adding media here ensure that you are using image that is quality quality image don't go and use blur image if you use blur image, if you use nonsense image, people will just scroll and pass your ad. Nobody will click on your ad. Use engaging videos. Use videos that are attractive, that are catchy, right? Any video that somebody cannot just scroll past, somebody must stop to check what is this, what's happening here, right? So that's the only way you can gain attention to your advert on Facebook, right? Because the first thing they'll come across before they think of reading your, your text, because this is the area for text, this is the area for headline. Before they come about reading your text, the first thing they are going to see is your image or your video. So if this image, if what you have on the image does not interest them, forget it, they will bypass your ad. And the more people bypass your ad and no one clicks, the more money Facebook will charge you. So the first assignment you have is to fix your image. Use quality image use quality videos and attractive engaging videos use creative videos for your adverts that is the first thing you need to fix before we talk about targeting fix this even if you target well and you do not fix this these stops everything you have done is waste if you do not fix this your image or your video and you go about targeting the right people those right people will see see your image and bypass it why because it does not resonate with them. So you have to fix this first. Then 
come over to targeting. If you cannot design, if you don't know how to design, pay a graphic designer, it will not kill you. 2000 naira, 3000 naira will not kill you for an advert that you make a lot of money from. It's either you pay a designer to design for you or you will pay Mark Zuckerberg for adverts that will not convert. So if you know how to design, fine and good, go ahead and design. Okay. If you know how to create video, go ahead and create the video for your work. For your advert, if you don't know how to do it, you can pay someone to do it, right? On a low budget, budget. Okay. So after fixing this, now let's go back to ad, um targeting. If you have the right image and you're showing it to a, the wrong set of people, you end up wasting your money on advert. So to fix this now, let's go over here. Yeah, scroll down now. Let's scroll down to um, audience. Me, let me just put the price here. Let me just assume that I'm using one thousand naira per day. I'm using one thousand naira per day, and um, I'm using one thousand naira per day. And now, this is the area for audience. Please pay attention to this thing. This is the area for audience. Now, if you take a look at this location, you discover that the location is already on Nigeria by default because I'm making this video from uh, Nigeria. I'm, I'm located in Nigeria, so I'm making this video from Nigeria. So, you can change this if you don't want to target Nigerians. You can go ahead and choose Ghana. You can go ahead and choose USA. You can go ahead and choose Canada, um, Kenya. Any country of your choice which you are targeting, depending on what you are selling. So, this is the first thing that you are going to do. And this is click on this edit and change your what location. But if you are still targeting Nigeria, leave it at what Nigeria. Then let's assume that you want to target specific cities in Nigeria. I don't want to target the entire Nigeria in order not to make your audience too broad. Now, if you check at your right hand side here. Yeah? You see that estimated audience size is 25 is um, 25 million 25.4 million to 29.9 what million okay that is for a, the entire nigeria world size now most times you may not have the capacity i'm talking about the finance to reach out to this specific word audience size okay so you cannot you may not have that budget you may not have that money to reach this and uh, this broad audience. So what you need to do is to cut down the kind of people that can see that we see your ad. So I just spend a whole lot of money, wasting money on people that cannot afford your product. So quickly, you go ahead here, go to this search location, and select cities. You discover that a lot of people who can afford your product are mostly located in cities. So for instance, you take a look at Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. You can see that Lagos, Nigeria is a state in Nigeria, a city in Nigeria. Okay, we have Lagos State and we have Lagos City. You can also target a specific area in Lagos. You can um, target somewhere like Lakey, Lakey Aziz or Banana Island Aziz. Okay. Okay, Lakey, Lagos, Nigeria. Okay, you can also target somewhere like uh, Banana Island. Banana Island. Okay, you see that here? Yeah? Banana Island, Lagos State, Nigeria. So you can target specific areas depending on what you are what selling. Okay, so maybe you can also target a place, a city like uh, Abuja, depending on what you are selling. So these areas are what? This one, you are targeting specific cities in Nigeria. We discover that your audience will begin to change. Okay. Then let us also look at a place like Port Harcourt. People who can afford products are also in these major cities. So you see now Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. Also select this. And you can also select several others depending on what you are selling. The reason why I may not be able to do specifically for your own product is because i don't know what you are selling okay but this is the format this is the template on targeting your what um your um your audience
audience okay so select this one this one is called broad audience okay it's called zero targeting so this one you are not targeting based on interest you are not targeting based on behavior you are not targeting based on what uh, um, any other um, interest targeting okay this is called zero based targeting okay so after selecting this location the next thing you are going to do let's scroll down go to the age bracket okay for nigeria here let me go for let me go for 27 years and above okay let me select 27 to i'll select 27 27 to 55 i'll just select 27 to 55 based on what i want to sell okay based on what i want to sell i want to select 27 to 55 years okay so for gender is for male and female so i'll allow both gender okay so for detail targeting you leave detail targeting because in this particular option we are looking at what zero base targeting okay I'll, I'll still show you the second option which is detail targeting okay i don't like automatic i like to select manual the manual placement will allow you to choose the areas that you are add with is going to be placed okay i'll remove this messenger and i'll remove the audience network i can allow my my advert to run on facebook and instagram at times if i don't have so much budget for that i may just remove instagram and i'll allow it to run mainly on facebook the heat of the advert will be just on facebook okay then let me that is about zero base targeting let me quickly show you the other one which is detail targeting even though most of the options have been removed from that detail targeting option okay so in this second phase in this second phase now we are talking about detailed targeting so the detail targeting here is just the difference is just to include this area you see this area detailed targeting so here you target based on demographics interest and what behaviors now the difference between this detail targeting and the broad targeting or the zero base targeting is that in detail targeting your telling facebook in particular the kind of people that they should show your what advice why in the broad targeting or the zero base targeting here you leave your advert in the hands of facebook algorithm so facebook algorithm will be able to place your advert targeting the kind of people that they feel will relate with your what advert and when they show a particular set of people for a period of time and maybe those people do not react much to that advert they will do what they will change they will change it to show another set of what people who are more likely to what take action on that advert so broad um zero based targeting you allow your the facebook algorithm to do what make their choice based on what you are what selling and how do the algorithm know what you are selling through your what text in your text you'll be able to use keywords that are relating to what you are what selling then in this area which is what detail targeting i believe you know the difference now i've shown you the two targeting options which is one is the zero based targeting which i've done just now and the second one it was um detailed targeting which i want to do right now so let's take a look at the detail targeting now if you take a look at this which is the detail targeting you discover that you're targeting based on demographics interest and behaviors so quickly you go over here and edit now you need to test these two targeting options is because sometimes the detail targeting may not convert more like that of the zero based targeting sometimes the, the options you may be choosing in this detail targeting may limit your ad to some specific set of people who did not um a kind of optimize their profile based on their work activities there are some people that are not that regular on facebook they don't optimize their um their, their bio 
on Facebook. So Facebook find it difficult to know their database, okay? But they still buy, okay? So in that case, you can use the zero based targeting also to get some people like that, okay? Then another set of targeting that you can also do in the audience section is what we call the custom audience. The custom audience. And the custom audience, you cannot do custom audience if you do not have video views or you have customers lists. If you have customers list of their email, their phone number and their name, you can be able to do custom audience. If you also have um, video views, if you don't have customers list, you can try another option which is video views you can run an advert for videos okay run an advert for videos then when you come on that audience you go to custom audience and you select based on video or views in my subsequent videos i'll show you how you can create your custom audience based on video views okay let's not divert let's focus on the targeting option for this particular one video so now we are still on detail targeting and if you see our demographics, interests, or behaviors, you are going to see suggestions and you are going to see browse. So let us assume that you want to sell a product like maybe you, you are into um, gadgets. Gadget like maybe, let me say laptop. You sell laptop. Okay. If, before you head over to detail targeting, the first thing you should be considering are who are those that need laptop, okay? Who are those that need laptop? If you are selling iPhone, think about who are those that need iPhone. Before you come over to Facebook um, Ads Manager dashboard to do that advert, you have to first of all do your homework. Go and research on the caliber of people that will possibly want need these things. So now, if you take a look at laptop, let's look at the keyword laptop, okay? We are on interest. Those, you see now, this is based on what? Interest. So you see those who are interested in what? Laptop. These are those interested. You see now, interest, interest, interest. So now, you see PC laptops, that is personal computer laptops. So you can choose those interested in this laptop and choose the keyword laptop based on interest. You see those interested in what PC laptop, okay? So you can also choose this based on what interest, okay? This one is after you have chosen your location and all that. So also go to another keyword which is what computer, okay? So you go to computers, okay? So you see that this is based on interest. Don't choose see computer science. This is based on fees of study. Don't leave, leave those ones. This one is computer science. This is based on what? Employers. Okay? Leave those ones. This is computer science based on what? Job title. This is tablet computers based on interest. We are looking at those who are interested in these things. See personal computer. You also include personal computer. Before then, take a look at select computers. Then go to personal personal computer which is what pc which is still laptop okay this is personal computer okay so see select personal computer okay and you also do what select several other word options related to computer another thing you need to do is who are those who are interested in what computer i know graphic designers graphic designers graphic designers are interested in computer Okay, computer graphic designers. These people are interested in computer. Computer science students. Computer science students. They will also be interested in computer. Now, when you click on computer science, go, don't leave these employers. Okay, go to computer science. Take a look at this. This is talking about fields of study. So, these people are in the school field of study as computer science. So go here and do what? Select. Okay. Then come over here and type um, content creators are also interested in computer. Programmers. This is another set of people that use computer. Programmers.
um, web developers okay uh, web develop and those interested in web development this set of people use um, computer web application developer they also use computer web content developer these people use what computer so you target them okay target those set of people also another set of people that need computers another set of people that use computers are what those who are um into gaming those who are interested in gaming these people use computers too those interested in gaming see when you see gaming here take a look at this place you see what interest these people are interested in computer okay so you discover that all these set of people are interested in what computers so you target these sets then this is not all stick. If you do your homework, you see several other interests that you can target. If you see the estimated audience, you have 3.1 million targeted audience. You can go ahead to exclude. You can do exclusion. You can exclude some people. Narrow your audience and you exclude some people. Okay, not there. Come to this narrow. See exclude. Click on exclude here. You can exclude some people. All these people that use 2G network. Okay. Facebook access network type. All the people that are using 2G are not going to see your they are not going to see your adverts. Remove them. Exclude them. Okay? Exclude those type of people. Then those that are using feature phones. Feature phones are all these type of uh, Java phone. They are not going to see your advert. Those people cannot buy your products. So all those that are using feature phones, okay, those who are accessing Facebook access mobile feature phones, okay, so those who are accessing Facebook with those feature phones, you know all those kind of Java phone now, those kind of people cannot afford your products, okay, so remove them, exclude them, feature phones, exclude them, right, exclude those set of people, they cannot afford your product. Then another set of people, okay, so you exclude this one, okay, there's one other um, targeting that I'll add here, yeah, those that have money to pay you, okay. Now, another targeting option I'll add here yeah, is, um, I'm done with the exclusion, of, I've excluded these two set of people, I don't want them to see my advert. So let me add one more audience interest here. Um, let me look at Facebook access. I'm sorry, Facebook payment. Those who have made purchase. Those who have made purchase on Facebook, uh, directly from Facebook. Maybe they are using um, web pay on their page and they were able to do that directly from Facebook advert. So I can use Facebook, um, payments, uh, Facebook, I think, possibly, are you sure that option is C here? Okay, Facebook payments. Okay, so it's see here. So if you come over here, you see that you have Facebook payment users for, 90, for the past 90 days. This one will target the set of people who have purchased via Facebook in the past 90 days. This one will target people who have purchased via Facebook in the past 30 days. The reason why we choose 30 days over 90 days is that these people are possibly still in buying mood and they can still likely do what? Purchase your products, okay? So we we'll select this, which is what based on behavior, okay? Based on behavior, so we'll, uh, include this as part of the audience we selected, okay? So that is how you do that. Then always come over to do what? Always come over to save your audience so that I can edit it subsequently. Click on this to save your audience, okay?
save your audience so you can just edit the name you can edit the name to maybe laptop laptop audience okay please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if this is your first time of coming and if you have come before and you have not subscribed i drop um, videos on this channel every week so do well to hit the subscribe button so that you see my valuable videos as soon as i drop them okay so you have written you have edited the name it's laptop audience i just use that name so that i know what i was doing you can save it you now click here and save and save this audience okay so it's just that simple go ahead and practice meanwhile you can create like two um ads you can create the first one and you do what duplicate the ad the reason why you duplicate you test two ads is so that one that converts you can test two three four assets then you leave the winning ad you can just do what when they have started um um doing well not all we do well just key the ones that are not doing well turn off the ones that are not doing well and leave the one that is doing well okay don't leave the one that is doing well to continue what running okay by testing you test different audience you test different what creative by creative i mean image or what video okay test different ad copies so that you know one that we do well. don't just do only one and you feel like this one should be able to fly no we don't do that test it so that before this other one will stop you know that you already have another one that is what performing sometimes you may have two three performing ads that are doing well so go ahead practice and learn in the process when you another thing is when you create an ad and it's not doing well go over to that advert performance you see the ad performance go over there and do what um read the metrics study the metrics how did this ad perform why did it not what perform from the metrics from the metrics of that advert you'll be able to know where you need to do what fix one or two things or tweak the ad to make it what perform better okay so this is how you go ahead you're targeting do well to practice if you have any question comment below this video comment below like this video don't forget to like the video so that youtube will show this video to more people who are interested in a video like this thank you for watching and i'll see you next week in another valuable video